territory. Hong Kong Island, the Kowloon Peninsula and the New Territories are less than 1,100 square kilometers. Combined with a population of 6.7 million inhabitants, Hong Kong is one of the most densely populated places in the world. A modern, efficient public transport system is essential for one of the world's most dynamic regions. To relieve congestion in the urban area, government policy has encouraged some very large housing programs to be developed in the new territories, along the East Rail Line. The KCR East Rail connects urban Kowloon with new territories towns and the boundary with the mainland at Lo Wu. New towns like Sha Tin, Tai Po and Fan Ling adorn the East Rail Line and are where the majority of the inhabitants of the new territories now live. Every day the East Rail Line transports some 730,000 passengers along its 34 km route. To meet this enormous flow of passengers, suburban trains of 12 cars, which have a maximum passenger load of 4,600 people, transport up to 70,000 people per hour at peak times. GEC Alstone Metro Camel supplied the original KCRC East Rail rolling stock from 1979. The provision of the vehicles consisted of 12 car trains comprising four motor cars and eight trailer cars, a total of 354 vehicles. By the early 1990s, these trains had reached the full potential of their half-life and KCRC decided to refurbish the East Rail rolling stock. Alstone Transport were awarded the contract in October 1995. A dedicated and committed working team was compiled by Alstom to ensure the project's success on time and within budget. The improvements that Alstom made on refurbished train can be summarized mainly into five areas, namely new KSLC image, increase in passenger carrying capacity, passenger comfort enhancement, efficient blotting and lighting, and safety and reliability enhancement. Increased passenger capacity was a prime directive for the refurbishment. With KCRC's passenger levels increasing year on year, capacity needed to be increased while remaining within the existing operating parameters of the train. Decommissioning the unnecessary intermediate driving cabs and replacing them with standard body ends created more passenger accommodation. The new interior, specially designed to optimize passenger comfort and maximize space, resulted in a 10% increase in passenger capacity per train. Faster boarding and alighting. With the increased passenger capacity, there was a need for faster boarding and alighting. This was achieved by the addition of two doorways per side on each standard class vehicle, which resulted in higher efficiency for KCRC and shorter travel times for their passengers. Station dwell times have been minimized, a critical factor in the day-to-day -day operations of KCRC. Reducing the number of redundant doors in the first class compartment made a further contribution to passenger space without impeding the flow of passengers. A better passenger environment was an important factor as the original trains had been in heavy service between 10 to 15 years and they were understandably showing signs of wear due to heavy utilization. 
Upgrading the interior to give passengers a modern, stylish and pleasant surrounding was a top priority. Our storm's work in the KCRC Hotung Lao workshop has been very well integrated, leading to very harmonious working relationship. Linear ventilation fans have been installed to provide better air circulation. New dual language English and Chinese LED passenger information systems have been added to provide a more informative service. A number of high visibility features to assist passengers with visual impairments and the increased provision of dedicated areas for wheelchairs overall reflect a total commitment to passenger care. Improved safety and reliability. Wide-ranging technical upgrades have been implemented to improve the reliability, maintainability and safety of all key areas for the remaining life of the rowing stock. Tab changer propulsion equipment has been replaced with the more efficient Irister propulsion equipment. New couplers and batteries, together with an upgrade of the main transformer, are other technical improvements which increase the overall reliability of the trains. Modern fire-resistant materials, such as higher specification interior surfaces, have been used for greater fire protection. Other safety improvements include the emergency detrainment devices, which enable passengers to safely disembark on the trackside in an emergency. Improved image. In line with the extensive improvements of the interiors, great importance has been placed on modernizing the external appearance of the trains. The existing driving cab, which dates back to the 1970s, has been replaced by a new modern driving cab, which gives the train a futuristic new look. Combined with the new external livery, this has radically transformed the visual impact of the refurbished trains. There's a lot of positive feedback from our passengers. Most of our customers believe they are brand new trains. One of the key aspects of this project was to source as many products and services locally as was reasonably practical in timescales available. Alstom have achieved local sourcing of approximately 50% of the 1,400 item bill of materials in Hong Kong and China. Most of these items are aluminium assemblies and steel fabrications. The localization policy of Alstom for this project has been very effective in reducing cost and also enhancing the corporate citizen image of KCLC. Throughout the refurbishment, all major components have been replaced, upgraded or overhauled. New components have also been added to improve the vehicle's capabilities. Consequently, an extensive four-phase testing and commissioning program is undertaken before the refurbished train can resume operational service. Routine tests where all individual components, such as the visual passenger information system, doors and lighting, are tested. On the test track, a dynamic test ensures that the power equipment, traction, transformer, brakes and compressor, work independently and jointly before the train is allowed on the main line for a commissioning test. Here, specific tests take place, such as acceleration and braking, and the correct programming sequences of doors and VPIS. On successfully completing all the rigorous testing phases, the trains are handed back to KCRC and begin their renovated life in operational service for the passengers of Hong Kong. The overall working partnership between KCRC and Alstom 
is very successful and excellent. This is demonstrated by the fast startup of the project and the smooth execution of the project. On time and within budget. I would like to say KCLC and Elstrom are working like partners. Like two blades of a pair of scissors, we construct and reshape the train perfectly to serve the Hong Kong passenger to a world class standard. Through this project, Alstom Transport have greatly improved the efficiency, quality and reliability of the Kowloon Canton East Rail operations, while giving KCRC value for money and a world-class product for the people of Hong Kong that's second to none.